hey YouTube, it is no surprise that gamers spend most of their time or a lot of their time sitting down playing video games on their computer or their console. Uh, this um, behavior has um, uh, predisposes to uh, many disorders unless we take uh, proper preventative recommendations. So here um, we have a bad posture and a good posture. This is the bad posture. I will point out um, the disorders that uh, are common for in people who sit uh, down for too long, which um, is synonymous with gaming, sadly. Okay, first of all, the neck. This is not, it's not straight, so it could uh, lead to neck pain, which would uh, medically reflect to uh, disc prolapse, or the disc between the, the bones of your neck will start to bulge. Then we have slouching, which uh, means uh, yeah, your upper body will be bent forwards, it will start uh, when sitting down, then if you uh, continue this uh, unhealthy behavior, it will also appear when you're uh, standing up. Uh, it's very ugly to look at, and uh, it looks very unhealthy, and later on uh, it gives you pain, upper back pain. Then we have the lower back, which is very common, a very common disorder, which will uh, lead to um, an unsupported lower back pain. Will uh, lower back will lead to um, back pain, which medically reflects, uh, medically reflected as um, disc prolapse, or lower back disc prolapse, which is very common. Then we have the arms. Here the arms should be, the, the shoulders should be parallel to the body and in a 90 degree angle with the forearms or else you're going to be to have short shoulder pain and elbow pain. The elbow also should not be flying like this, it should be supported on the arm pad and the shoulder should not also be stiff, it should be supported by the elbow on the arm pad and not elevated up nor dropped down. Both of the, these uh, improper uh, postures will lead to elbow pain as I said and uh, shoulder pain. Next we have the forearm, it should be straight, flat, parallel to the ground. Then we have the wrists, the, they should be flat or else you're going to get um, carpal tunnel. Also notice that this is an expensive chair to support the back properly. Any kind of uh, regular, regular or, inex or cheap chair will not, even if you take proper posture, will not uh, be ideal. If you spend uh, most of your day or uh, a significant amount of your day on, um, on a PC or, or gaming, you should uh, probably invest in uh, proper um, chairs. Okay, next we have the wrist. This is the correct position from the side, which is more important than this. This is a flat wrist. This is really bad. This is definitely going to give you carpal tunnel. So is this. And these two, they are not straight. The line here is not straight. But this is more, much more important. A avoid this at all costs. Okay, next we have position on the keyboard. It should be flat and not like this, and not elevated nor uh, depressed like with the mouse. But uh, the important thing here is the, uh, the pad, the pad of the keyboard. You should uh, probably buy a keyboard with a, with a pad because without the pad, you're uh, definitely not going to have uh, flat wrists. Okay, as I can't stress this enough, this is really bad. This will definitely give you carpal tunnel if you spend most of your time looking like this. Okay, to sum up, straight neck, straight gaze, not bending your neck forwards or backwards. Flat back, not slouched, supported lower back. The, the shoulder is not elevated nor depressed. It's not dropping down or bulging upwards. It's in a natural position. The elbow should be supported on the arm pad to help support your uh, shoulder. Your forearm should be straight, so is your wrist, both wrists. Then we have the legs. They should be in a 90 degree angle with the thighs. They should lie flat on the ground. Uh, also something that happens in, uh, in the lower limbs, and, and because most gamers are young, they don't see it, but uh, if they keep this unhealthy behavior, they're going to get uh, varicose veins as they grow up, which is basically sitting down too long. Um, your lower limbs, uh, the blood pulls down in your limbs and causes the veins to dilate and then becomes uh, more visible. Uh, as you grow older. Uh, to avoid this, you should uh, not, not every 30, not take breaks every 30 minutes, but every at least one hour, you should walk around um, your home or your desk. Um, two hours at the max, you should sit in, a, in the same position without moving. So every two hours, at least, at the very least, you should walk around to the bathroom, maybe grab uh, something from the fridge. Ideally, you should um, um, perform stretches every two hours, but uh, to keep it to a minimum, um, every two hours, just take a small walk um, at your home. Also, this is an ideal position. Nobody can keep uh, the same position for too long because the body um, will signal you to move. For example, cross your legs, elevate your legs um, as time passes. This is completely natural, but uh, you should try to keep this posture as long as you can. One more important thing to add is that um, these disorders, all, all the disorders I have mentioned, have no medical treatment, as in you take certain drugs to fix them. They cannot be fixed that way. They are permanent, only fixable by um, certain lifestyle modifications. For example, uh, carpal tunnel early, car carpal tunnel syndrome, uh, you can wear a wrist and take uh, the posture I mentioned, put uh, soft pads under your wrist to uh, alleviate the pain. But later on, they are all permanent with uh, pain or visible, constant pain or visible changes uh, that require surgery. So these small uh, lifestyle uh, modifications that I have mentioned in this video will prevent or at least delay uh, these uh, disorders.
also uh, gamers are uh, a risk group for these disorders so they should uh, pay close attention uh, and read more on the subject under the title of ergonomics uh, just uh, google ergonomics and maybe um, uh, things get updated um, and more uh, recent recommendations have um, been released you should follow them and stay healthy